Here's another one for Apple. Actually, last story relating to Apple. There's this new situation in France where France is forcing companies to display their repairability score. And you know Apple, they love the environmental talk. They'll, they'll chat your ear off mm -hmm. as far as the environment's concerned. We're, We're saving the planet. Carbon neutral, carbon phones. negative. There's no more carbon. We're Apple and we just took care of carbon. Uh -huh. No more emissions. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know how it goes. I always thought it was funny. They're, they're, ta they're always telling us about how much they're saving the planet. But then every year they're telling us to get this slab of precious metals. Yeah. yeah. Mined from... Uh, transported around. And you're like, wait, man, is that... It's just a funny set of messaging. But look, I mean, we all buy things. And if nobody cared or nobody made any effort, well, it would get out of hand really quickly. Mm -hmm. So the focus is uh, makes sense. But it's, it's just kind of funny the way the company that's s selling boatloads, literal boatloads of precious metals compacted together and shipped across the world using vessels... Mm -hmm. is also teaching us how to deal with the environment. It's just, I always found that. Yeah. Anyway, in France, where they'll take the environment situation to even another level, they're saying, well, if we can't repair these things, then it becomes waste faster. Now, Apple probably says, well, we can refurbish that for you, but they're saying people will hold on to their devices longer. This is how a government would think about it mm -hmm. and therefore wouldn't need another one and therefore the environment global environment might benefit from the fact that people aren't getting a new slab every five minutes and so in order to encourage people to pick more repairable devices they're forcing companies to publish their own repairability scores now these things have never been all that repairable but it's getting it's been getting considerably more difficult to repair them over the years because I can speak from experience, Will. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to go into it because I've gone into it on this show before. Yes. I was repairing these things. Uh-huh. I, I, I had the suction cups and the heat guns. Yeah, we don't have to, you know. And the stickers and the spudgers. Yeah. This was before early days I fix it. I didn't have a diagram. I'm just yanking at things. A lot of it, yeah. Anyway, uh, so they're tough to repair, and Apple knows it, and France wants you to know it. And so what they're doing is, if you go to Apple's support page in France now, and you can click on any Apple device, including, like, I'll just select the 12 Pro Max, for example, and you can see out of a potential score of 10, it's getting a big 6 in there. And you can just tell. I mean, it's not, it's not great. Uh, the repairability section, I mean, there's, a, they, there's different scores. You can see documentation, and it's all written in French, so I apologize. Uh, I can't, uh, I'm not going to be able to translate that in real time very quickly here, but you can, you can see where it's being docked points, and you could run a translation, but the ultimate uh, score here is a 6 out of 10, or oh. more specifically, it looks like a 59.6 out of 100. Not great. Mm -hmm. Not great. And there's other devices you can check as well. I guess you can look at, oh, look, we can load up a MacBook Pro 13. It's a 5.6 or a 56.2 out of 100, even worse. Huh. So we already knew everything is baked into these systems. They're very difficult to get access to, special screws, adhesives, and things like this. It's no surprise. It's just now they're being forced to kind of uh, display it over here. It's part of uh, these, by the way, these color coded labels will be on products both online and in stores. It's an anti waste law designed to keep shoppers abreast of the lifespan of their electronics to encourage, encourage them to choose longer lasting items. Fines for non compliance are expected to be introduced next year. So, a lot of brands are having to do this. It's not just Apple, it's just oh. interesting to look at Apple. By the way, it's a lot of phones, man. If, if I bring up a Samsung phone or something, it's all embedded these days. If you go to iFixit, every time I look at a teardown, 
it's like, oh, there's another one that's hard to, they're hard to repair. Mm -hmm. All right, that's, that's the way it is.